Good morning, good morning, what's popping everybody? It's Eagle Drizzy, welcome back to Drizzy Radio. Drop a cup of tea, let's jump straight into this mess. But first of all, if you're new here and you want to join the Messi gang, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell so that you know wherever we upload. We're shady, we're messy, honey. Let's jump straight into this mess. So, well, today's topic, we're going to talk a little bit about Damo Platinum Zuchu, a little bit of Tanzanian artist, and some people, that, some things, or rather some things that Eric Kumundi had to say in regards to the difference between Kenyan industry and Tanzanian industry, honey. Mm-hmm. Well, what happened is Eric Kumundi did an interview with a Kenyan blogger named um, Plug TV. And he has some things to say over there. Some made sense to me. Some I was like, hmm, I don't know how I feel about that. But first of all, let's listen to what Eric Komundi had to say. And tell me down in the comment section if you truly agree with whatever it is that he was saying. Or you feel like Eric Komundi is out here cloud chasing yet again. <laughs> I keep saying two things. I keep saying we need showbiz and separate showbiz from cloud. Number two, I keep saying Tanzania are are way ahead of us because of showbiz, no talent. Where's the compare Saudi Adamo and Saudi Yanani? Yani? Where's Ivan? I used to talk to Yani. Yani Damo and Fiki Yani. Ah, Damo and Fiki Yani, bro. Bro, Damo Zuchua and Guzi Nadia. Nadia. Call. Nadia. Call. Well, you guys, there you had it from Eric Komodi. Tell me what you think down in the comment section. Do you actually agree with him or not? To some extent, yeah, I do agree with him that, you know, sometimes artists is not that great, but because they're signed into this bigger of a recording label, the name is automatically up there. But that, that doesn't mean that Zuchu can sing, okay? Zuchu can sing okayly. Okay, that is just my opinion. Do I believe that uh, Nadia Mukami can outdo Zuchu on vocals, like live vocals? No, really. You know, I've never heard Nadia Mukami singing live like that, but his voice is not that, you know, it's not one of those uh, unique voice. Yeah, he can sing okayly when he sings, she sings. You can tell that this is, this is definitely a musician. But all in all, Demo Platinums with the Yanni, mm, I don't think. I think nowadays the real reason why people feel like Diamond Platinum is kind of slacking is because he's not using his voice more. It's more about his antics and all this trying different sound, not concentrating more on his vocals. That's why people feel like he's not good of a vocalist. But Diamond Platinum, when he first came out, he was a musician, musician, okay? Good uh, vocalist, okay? But all in all, with Eric Omoni, you can't tell. It could be one of those things that where he's just speaking based on speaking so that, you know, people, bloggers will pick on some of the things that he was saying so that, you know, it might be talked about yet again. But all in all, do I believe Diamond Platinums can't sing? Absolutely not. Do I believe his name and his recording label kind of carrying some of these artists yes definitely because we are seeing for example with uh, the sister queen darling she is allegedly wasafi's uh wasafi's artist but baby i can't even remember the last time i had that lady sing on a record honestly i feel like just because the brother is on top of the things that's why and some are saying that the real reason why he's also on top is because of baby mama's dramas and everything you know he's kind of using all this to kind of stay on top but anyway i want to hear what you have to say about that down in the comment section without them baby mama dramas do you feel like there are more platinums will still be here keep it classy stay is this you my next one bye bye